Okay, so this is my 157th Raid Shadow Legends video so far, and I can easily say without a doubt this is going to be my most difficult raid video, and I'm going to make a decision that is extremely difficult. Now, I've been thinking about this for about an hour or so, and something happened that really made me think that this decision would be the best to make, even though at a first glance it might not seem like it. And I wanted to tell you guys why I'm deciding to make this decision as well as kind of share with you guys what this decision means from my perspective. Because as a content creator, things are a little bit different than as somebody who watches videos or just plays the game normally. Now, when I first started my channel many, many years ago, when I started making videos, not even Raid Shadow Legends, one of my main goals was to share information, share knowledge, and tell people of the mistakes that I made so that other people didn't make those mistakes. I wanted to spread awareness through YouTube as a platform. And with the Battle Pass recently announcing, I've been trying to share with you guys as much information as I can, as quickly as I can, because I know how important that is for YouTube. But the thing is, I haven't had the proper resources to properly share this information with you guys. I've been relying on other people and Discord and Twitter and really trying to gobble up as much info as I can without actually having the battle pass myself. And unfortunately, this has resulted in me uploading not only my second video, this is actually my third video of the day because the very first video that I made, I very quickly removed because pretty much all the info in that video was very quickly invalidated. So I decided to just take it down. And these kinds of things are not really great on YouTube and they are not great as a content creator. It also sucks and it's a really sour feeling to put info out there and to put a video out there and then very quickly realize and understand that a lot of the stuff that you put out there has been invalidated. Now, when it comes to the battle pass, I want to share with you guys as much info about this, give you guys all the knowledge and all the details about it so that you guys can make the proper decisions. Whatever those decisions might be, I'm not going to make them for you, but I want to share with you guys the knowledge so that you guys can at least be more aware of those decisions. And it's very, very difficult to do this if I don't actually have the battle pass myself. Now, if I had the battle pass, I would have avoided making some of the mistakes that I made in the last couple of videos. And I really am trying to make the point clear that I don't want to support Plarium and the practices that they've been participating in lately. And myself, as well as a lot of other content creators, have talked about how we don't want to support Plarium in any ways that we can. But as a content creator, this goes above and beyond making a decision like not making purchases. That is an important decision to make. And if you know, multiple people make that decision and we can spread that awareness, that makes a huge difference. But for me to provide content and to share with you guys information and knowledge, it's very difficult in order for me to do this as a YouTuber without proper access to this information. And unfortunately, I don't think that the communication levels from Plarium are going to change anytime soon. That would be the best resource is if they just told us this stuff or we had access. A lot of people suggested, you know, instead of taking free stuff from Plarium or anything along those lines, why don't they just have a separate server where we can test champions? I would absolutely love that kind of stuff. That would be amazing. And I would sacrifice any kind of freebies for better access to get information to you guys in a heartbeat. The problem is, that's just not the way that Plarium does things. And whenever I play Raid, my number one goal has always been to keep content and spreading information as my top priority. You guys know I'm not an incredibly competitive person. Even my account overall is not really that powerful, especially in comparison to a lot of other people and a lot of other content creators. And that's because I spend so much of my time in Raid working on ways to make videos and share information with you guys because I truly enjoy doing that. Now with the battle pass, I want to do the exact same thing. I want to make several videos telling you guys a bunch of information about this, but in order to do this properly, I need to actually get the battle pass myself. So that's kind of what this is all boiling down to. In order for me to do my job properly as a YouTuber and get the best information out there to you guys, I have to make the decision to purchase the battle pass myself. And again, I wanna emphasize that I'm not doing this for my account or my own personal reasons, I'm doing this because I want to get the information out there to you guys so that you all make better decisions and uh, you know the awareness is spread. So with that being said, um, I apologize about some of the incorrect information in the last couple of videos. You know, things are going to change very quickly as we learn more and more about this. I have learned that the levels in the battle pass apparently don't all give 20 experience each. This is something that I would have known if I actually had the battle pass. So, 
Um, you know, again, you guys are seeing how, as a content creator, this kind of stuff is very, very important to us um, because it really is a, it's a sour feeling when we put stuff out there and then realize very quickly that that information has been invalidated. So, um, you know, if I have any more updates, I will let you guys know, but uh, you could definitely expect lots of informative videos about the Battle Pass coming out in the future. So whatever decisions you guys do decide to make, um, at least you have more info about them. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys understand where I am coming from. And with that being said, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.